So um, what's up guys, this is me and uh, we're going to start this tutorial. Before we start, here's some of the work that I've done. I'm always going to show you this. So uh, some of the 3D work that I've done. Just um, so you know that I'm not a 3D Max newbie and I have got experience in 3D Max. So you know, I'm not going to be teaching you a load of crap. And hopefully the stuff that I'll teach you will come in handy. Um, here's some, you know, some of the recent stuff that I've done. Most of this was done for university before I graduated, and it was all done in 3D Studio Max, which is um, which is right here. And today's tutorial is um, let's have a look. Today's tutorial is looking at layout and interface. So let's have a look. So when you open up um, 3D Studio Max, you get this layout. Um, you have got a show UI layout right here which you can um, basically turn things off and on so you can always if you haven't got the right layout um, before you start um, you got this right here you can always lock the layout so it won't change you know you, um, you can change it obviously if you click on things and drag things but if you lock the layout then it's good to leave it like that if you don't want to be messing about with stuff but the way 3D Max works is you've got one 3D space and in this one 3D space, okay, um, in this one 3D space, you can see different size and different views. Each section, right here, can be changed. Each of these can be changed to your specification. So it doesn't necessarily has to look like this when you start off. But this is usually the top. This is the front. This is the left side, and this is the perspective in the 3D perspective. Okay, right here you've got the layers, and you've got to create the new layers. Okay, if you can't see the layers, then um, we'll show. There's a tutorial on layers coming up soon, anyway. But we'll talk about that later. And right here are your main. These right here are your main three, um, three, basically three things that you're going to be using throughout the whole modeling. And this is to move the model, to rotate the model, and to scale the model. So with this, we move the model. With this, we rotate the model, and with this, we can scale the model. Um, even though I was meant to do that on next tutorial, I'm just going through a few things in this tutorial. Um, now it's pretty interesting how this, you know, this works. Um, you can right-click on things. So in here, uh, you can right-click inside the model, and because my screen screen recorder is not is playing up when I do this, which is unfortunate for this recording. Sorry about that. Got hiccups, but. Um, I should get that fixed in the uh, next tutorial. Uh, it's not really that you know important in this tutorial anyway. And um, what we have is right at the side we've got like um, this is really interesting. This is the, the control panel, basically the main panel we use for the models. Uh, not just for that, for the whole scene. So we can create, modify, hierarchy. So this is to change the pivot point of things and um, reset the pivot. With the modify, we modify the actual object, um, and with the create, we, we create things. So we create um, not just geometry. We create shapes. We create lights. We create cameras. We create helpers, space warps. So this is like um, we can create uh, wind, gravity, and stuff. And then we have systems where we uh, basically use um, biped, which is, for example, uh, if we're rigging the characters and stuff. Um, as well as that. Um, we've got loads of different things, okay, and then we've got motion, which is basically this is used for um, animation when we're doing motions, okay. Um, we also got display. So what we want to see? Do we just want to see the lights? We don't want to see the geometry, right? We just want to see. Um, so basically, we just select anything we want to see. We don't want to see, and we can invert it so we can decide if we want to see it or not. Um, and as far as that, that's the basics. Um, if you right click on the models, you can. Well, I can't do it now, but in my re um, other tutorials, I will get this fixed, as I already said. And um, basically, if you right click on this and click on convert to an editable poly, that's the main things that you're going to be working in 3D Max. Holding Control and pressing W um, inside of a box. So if we go inside and uh, sorry, all and W 
will enlarge your screen so if we hold O and W it will enlarge your screen and um, if we hold the middle mouse key we can move the model if we hold control and left click we zoom in and out and if we hold control sorry and if we hold can't remember this clearly if we hold all and hold the mouse middle mouse key we rotate okay if we push it in and out the mouse key we zoom in and out we can also press um, a few other things sorry about that microphone playing up but that's the that's the main main uh, uh, start for the 3D Max. So uh, let's go and go into the next tutorials now. Thank you for watching.